Hi everyone. I just jumped on a couple of minutes early because just when I went to log on, Facebook said, we've changed things around. So I just wanted to make sure that I was indeed landscape and that you could see my whole desk and you can. All right, we'll get started. My name is Marianne Cowan. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Ottawa, Canada. And as I look out my window, it is snowing again. We're supposed to get some kind of little storm blowing through, so at least the snow is starting to melt. So spring is hopefully just around the corner. We don't have spring and flowers blooming for quite a while. So I just decided to have flowers blooming in my stamp room. So I'm going to show you some of the um, products we're going to be working with today. Today is Friday, so that means Fun Fold Friday. Hey, Minik. Just a couple of reminders. Well, and this isn't a reminder. This is the paper we're working with, Bloom Where You're Planted. A reminder, though, this paper is only available until the end of April. It is in the annual catalog, and the annual catalog ends the end of April. So you want to make sure that you get all the things that you've had your eye on and that are on your wish list before the end of April, and then they're gone. Also, right now, Stampin' Up! has a sale on the mini cut and emboss machine, 20% off as well as several bundles. Bundles are usually 10% off, but for March, they are 20% off. And some of them that weren't bundle priced before are back in a bundle price. They only they're only bundled 10% off when they're first introduced in the catalog. And after that, it's um, they're just regular price. So now they're 20% off. And if you're a demonstrator, you get your discount on top of that, so awesome. And also, I won't tell you about that because we're on to the next paper pumpkin. Okay, so the stamp sets that we're going to be working with today, I've been working with these all week. It's a little bit of a sneak preview to my uh, first April card class that features the Flowering Rain Boots stamp set. The stamp set is included in the cost of the class and if you if you get option one you get the dies which I'm just finding rain boot dies and flowering rain boots if you're gonna get the stamp set I would get the dies because this little hand rake is not even in the stamp set and now there's this little lattice piece hi Diane so it's a good idea to get them you may as well get them while well, you can because they're 10% off now the other one we're working with is the Home and Garden and the Garden Dies. And I've been working with these all week. So the cards that we're going to be making in card class will be a little simpler than the ones that I've been showing you. But if you have the stamp set dies, you can make all kinds of cards. We're going to be using the sentiment from Paradise Palms Retirement Wishes. I didn't have a good retirement sentiment, so this one's perfect, and when you see what we're doing, I think it's a perfect card. I have someone in mind. We're also using potted succulents, this little die here, for the sentiment. And the window flower box dies, which are on that sale, so this die and stamp set is 20% off. I use this one quite a bit. It's got the little pots, the window I used on Wednesday's card, and we're also using this little shelf today. And then I also used the stitched rectangle dies. These are a must have. And here is how I play when I'm going to be working with a certain stamp set for a while. So I went ahead and stamped a whole bunch of images, flowers in different colors, different colors of pots, um, some of the ladders in different types of paper, in gray, in wood grain, two different shades of gray, white if I wanted to color it, 
the watering can, everything. And then I use the 1 16th. This is a retired Stampin' Up! punch. Hopefully you didn't get rid of yours. So I just keep this close by me and then I just take things as I need them. Now the card that we're doing today is copied off of this one that I designed a while ago. So this one was using the plant paper. I can't think of the name of it right now. Blue Murray Planted. Blue Murray Planted. That has all these awesome ones that you can just cut right out of the paper. And oh, yeah, actually most of these, some of these are die cut and some of them are cut right out of the paper. So we're using the same design, but we're going to make a spring greenhouse. So that one's more succulents and indoor house plants. So we're taking it, uh, we're doing spring. Here's the cards from Monday. So we're using the watering can and the little pot, stacking up the little pots. And this gingham paper is from um, your A Peach designer series paper. Or you might have the stack we had maybe last year or the year before that had gingham in it. The little boots. These are distinctive stamps, so they really show a lot of detail. And then another one using the little pots and all the little elements are just so fun. And then on Wednesday, I did this one with all the tools. Great for a guy card, I think, or a girl. I would like this card. And then this one, because that one set did have some sentiments for dad, happy birthday, dad, um, happy Father's Day, thanks for helping me grow, which I think is a really nice sentiment. So this is the one that we did on Wednesday. So we're going to notch it up today. We're only making one card. That tells you that it's a little bit complicated. It's not complicated. It's just fun to put together. So we're starting with Cinnamon Cider. So Cinnamon Cider is one of the in colors and the in colors are around for two years. So Cinnamon Cider, this is its second year. So it will be retiring in the annual catalog when the annual catalog retires end of April. So if you have the ink pad, make sure you have the ink pad ref the ink refill and make sure you grab a pack of paper. Um, Misty Moonlight is retiring, Bumblebee, Just Jade, and Magenta Madness. So those are all the five colors that are retiring and then there'll be new five new colors introduced. So what I did is I took a piece of paper. This is from the bloom where you're planted. Which I just had out. It's, we're using this one and this one. I think that's all. And you can see the sheets that had, oh, we're using some of the pots as well. But you can see the other ones that have some of the plants I used in the other card that I had made. So what I did is I just laid it on top. I didn't glue it down yet. And I ran it through the Big Shot with the stitched rectangle die, and then I did it again. I didn't measure it or anything. It was actually kind of easy because I had the lines from the wood grain. That made it a bit easier. And then I took a piece of window sheet that is just under four inches. Oopsie. And we're going to put this on before we put the rest of the card together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my tape runner. When I'm using window sheets, I don't like to use white glue to, if I don't have to. Because if it gets on the window sheet, it kind of mucks it up a little bit. So let's just go ahead and put this on. It does not need to be straight because we're putting this piece over top. So again, I'm just going to use my stamp and seal. I think it's almost the exact size. You do want to get it fairly close to the edges so that your window is not pulling up. 
So then this paper has a little bit of a plastic on it, coating on it. All right, let's see if I can, it's quite sticky right now. So the main thing I wanna make sure is that I get the windows where they should be and that it's relatively straight. There's a little bit showing there, so I'll erase that after. Now I designed this after a fancy greenhouse called the Hartley Greenhouse that's from the UK. And a lot of the Hartley greenhouses have a brick part along the bottom. So mine's going to be a Hartley greenhouse. Not all of them do, but it's kind of one of their distinguishing features. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're just gonna put this right at the bottom to make it look like it goes all the way around. Okay, then for the inside, we have another piece of this wood grain just to make it look like it's the inside of a little wooden greenhouse as opposed to mine, which is a metal greenhouse. But a lot of people make them from wood. A lot of people make them with used windows. So this one is going to have wood inside. All right. Now, um, our inside piece, and I did have these in order. I think I'll go ahead and put the, these on first. I don't think it matters that they're in order. But maybe. So I will go I will post all the measurements on my website. So if you're in your craft room tomorrow because it's going to be nasty weather, and you want a little project card, this would be the perfect one. So I'm just putting this on all the panels. Last one. Okay, so now to go inside the card, it's going to go like this. So that when you open it, this little piece folds out. So I'm just... I am gonna use white, uh, what should I use? No, I'll use this. I was gonna say I was gonna use white glue in case I had to move it around, but I don't think I'll have to. So when I open it up, I'm gonna put this one fairly close to the edge. And then I'll put adhesive on this one and then close it up. And in a perfect world, well, there's no perfect world, when I open it, it's gonna be correct. Let's see. Yes, it's exactly how I wanted it. Okay, to finish up the front, I thought maybe I'd put the rain boots here. Now these are a little bit off scale, but I still like them, so I'm just gonna go ahead with it. And then I have the little flowers. I'm gonna cut these. They do match up perfectly with the tulips. And then what I like to do is just cut in this little spot and then you can just tuck that right in. So it looks like they're really coming right out of the boots. I'm just gonna trim it down a little bit more. There. 
I was just trying to get it so you could see a little bit of the boot at that edge. Now I'm going to put a dimensional. right in the corner. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this side and tuck these ones in. And I'm going to do the same thing, put a dimensional on the back. To hold that together. This one's a bit wide. There we go. And we do want to put dimensionals on the other side. You kind of have to be careful when you're doing this because when you open it up you're going to see the back side but oh well. Is anyone else in their craft room today? Does anyone else have this set? Now, I don't like that, so I'll go back and fix that later. I'll put something else there that I like better. Now I have yellow boots, so I don't really want yellow flowers, so let's go with pink. I just cut out the flowers in a bunch of different colors. So I'm going to try to attach these with glue dots so I don't have big blobs showing through on the other side. So let's see if that's going to work. The only thing about when you're working with window sheets, you have to think about how it's going to look on the other side, which I'm not always good at doing. But you can just always go back later and figure out something to fix it. So they do have one stalk coming out for each flower, which is kind of cool. And then we'll put that one right there. All right, so we're almost done our front. So I have my little sentiment, retirement wishes. And then I was thinking of putting a couple more tulips. Let's just try, see if I like it. So I just want a couple coming out the side. And let's do purple. Okay, so I can put a glue dot on the back. Hey, Teresa. Then my little sentiment. This is going to be on the paper so I don't have to worry about it showing through to the other side. And then a little glue dot, right like that. All right. Looking good so far. So now we need to do something with the inside pieces. So my idea for this is, this is similar to the one I made the other day. I'm gonna start with my little rack and then I'm gonna put some hooks on it. On the bottom, I wanna have a pot with some tulips. I'm gonna do a little twine around this to add a little bow. Yes, my greenhouse. Next week the nighttime temperatures are supposed to be pretty good, so I'm thinking I can get some stuff planted out there soon, like some cool weather crops, radishes, lettuce, and also some of my flowers that I'm starting already, my ranunculus and anemones are cool weather. So I'm thinking they might be able to go in the greenhouse in a couple of weeks. Because you don't want to, after you've gone to all the trouble of starting your seeds, to kill them by putting them in the greenhouse. Because it gets really warm in the day and then cool at night. 
All right, so we've got our little pot. Oh, I just about got my finger. It's kind of the same color, that's why I'm... When I was playing around with it, I didn't have this piece down, so you could see it better, but that's okay. Oh, I forgot something on the front. I think I'll put it over a little bit. On the front, I wanted to add a little bit of grass. So these are other die cuts that are in. And I don't think I will, it's not really to scale. Plan B. Okay. So we've got that. So down here I wanted to put some more tulips because you'll be able to see them through the window. So let's go ahead. I have leaves in two different colors. Gar um, granny apple green and soft succulent. I think I'm gonna go with granny apple green. And I'm just going to do one set. Meaning one set of tulips, not the whole double tulipy thing. I should have done this before I stuck this down. Now this one I don't need to worry about um, it's showing through because it's on paper. So I'm just going to close this and I want to see what color will look pretty because we got the, t yeah, that's maybe yellow. We've got purple, pink, and then yellow. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so let's just trim this off and we'll put dimensionals on the back. The big ones fit pretty well. I might not have time right now, but you can obviously go back and add some Wink of Stella. So you can see one, two, three, four, five. So you want to make sure this last one is on the right stock. Cute. Okay, so I did that first because it's going to let me know where I need to put these things. Because I have my little hooky thing and I have my little shelf. So my little shelf is going to go flat and right above my tulips. So I did die cut these using different wood grains. And on this one, I wanted to put a little pot of, make sure we have room, these little daisy type ones. Let me just see when I close it, if you're gonna be able to see it. You can. So I can move this over as far as I can because I might put something else on this one. So this one I'm going to pop up. So really you're just creating a little scene of whatever you like. So I'm making sure I don't go off the edge here. Then I did have another little pot, uh, this one I was going to use. With maybe, or maybe I'll just put the pot. I was going to put tulips in it, but I think that'll be too much. You'd also put a little st stack of pots if you wanted to. But I know in my greenhouse I have empty pots as well. Okay, let's go ahead and add our wooden piece that's going to hold the little hookies. Slide it over a little bit. All right. Now, these are die cuts that are adorable. 
So we're going to add some little hooks. And obviously you can just keep playing and playing and add whatever you like. And I was saying the other day, if you look closely, you can even, it even looks like it's got the little indentation for screws. It's so cute. So I'm just going to put two hooks. And then I went ahead and did a few things so you weren't sitting here watching me all day. So I do have the rake and I have it all ready. I die cut a second piece with wood grain to put on. And I'll put a dimensional under the bottom here. The scale of these is a bit off, but I still thought they were cute. And then we have our spade. So I die cut it out of wood, and then I'm just going to add the silver piece to the bottom. So I had some leftover galvanized foil, but you could use anything really. And it already has a little hook. So I'm just going to, how did I do it the other day? I think like this. Almost. There we go. And I'll put a dimensional and that will hold that in place. All right, perfect. So we have a pot, that, we have our tulips. So when we close it up, you can see some of the inside flowers. And now I want to put just a little pot with some of the other tools. I think I'll put it here. So let's do up the pot first. So I have a little pot. I have the little hand rake, um, the clippers. So what did I do for these? Oh yeah. So there's two different ways, well, there's lots of different ways you could do it. I tried using the wood grain so the handle would be wood grain, like that. Or so the handles are gray, I also tried, like that. And I think I'll do the gray because I'm using the wood grain in the other little tools. So all these little die cuts are all in the garden dies. Except the trowel is in the other one. Okay, so I'm going to take my little pot Give it a little cut or hmm, I thought I had an extra silver thing. I might just put this beside it. You don't want to hide, you don't want to cover everything up. And I have little seed packets. So we could put a seed packet and maybe the little hand trowel. Let's do that. Put a dimensional. I like putting the dimensional on because it holds everything in place. So we're going to put that right here. And then we have, I didn't cut off the string yet. Trim it. We could also hang this up here. Let's do that. And then we have our garden shears, which we can just put down here maybe. Really doesn't matter where you put them. And as I said, you can go on and on and keep adding things or
just going to add maybe a couple of pots like we did in the card the other day where you just take the first one and then you stack it so it just looks like a little stack of pots you guys are quiet today All right, let's put these right here. Okay, I think that's enough for now. So this, both of these sets are really fun to play with and I like just using them to make little scenes. So this one is a little greenhouse, a nice little retirement wishes card. using the stitched rectangles to cut out the windows. And then all the element, not all, some of the elements from the two, mostly from rain boots and garden dyes. So these are the main ones I used. I did use the window ones as well. But I think it's ridiculously cute. I was worried about that, but you know what? I don't think you're really gonna notice it. You could go in and put another pot. No, I'm not gonna bother. So there we go. Thanks, Sylvia. I think if someone's retiring that they would love to receive this card. And if you're retiring, then you might have time to have a greenhouse and be out playing in it. So lots of fun elements. You could go back and add some more seed packets or tools or flowers or anything that you want um, to this. But the idea was just a spring greenhouse. I was going to put some little pebbles around the front but I don't really think it needs it. But just to let you know, these pebble enamel shapes, pebbles enamel shapes are back in stock. They weren't supposed to be available until March 21st, but they are available now. So I would get them while you can because they're re really cute. Okay, let's review all our cards from this week as I tidy up my little mess here. I'll put all these back in my little tray. It's fun to have them already made so you can kind of just look and pick and choose what you're going to use. And I always have way more than I need. You'll have all this cut out and then you'll say, oh, I wish I had one more gray pot. Okay, and if you're looking to purchase any of these products, you can visit my website, MarianneCowan.com, and they will be available there. And I'll have links to the product codes when I post this later today. All right, just getting us some room here. Oh, Sylvia, that's exciting. Yes, thank you, that's a good hint. Don't you think this would be a perfect retirement card? And I did make up an extra tag too so I might I have lots of stuff I might have to make another one so retirement wishes here's our little fun fold for today and we'll add it to our collection from this week so that's Friday here are the ones that we did on Wednesday I like to show you the versatility of a set so when you buy it you can see all the different ways that you can use it and then these are the four that we made on Monday. I actually only made three in the video, but I think I made this one afterwards. Yes, I did because I did use my blendy brush and put a little green down here and blue. The other ones I just put blue behind. So those are our Monday cards. So this is definitely a set that you would probably wanna have in your craft room especially as we are hopefully approaching spring. Thank you for joining me today. I do appreciate it if you like or share my video. 
If you're watching the replay on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you'll know when I post a new video. Thanks for joining me today. I will be back on Monday. For those of you who are doing Spring Stamp Camp, I will be live here tomorrow morning at 10 and 1 to show you how to put together your cards. And if you're not in Spring Stamp Camp, then you get a sneak peek. Thanks everyone. Have a great weekend. And if you're in Ottawa, stay safe uh, with our snow that's on the way. Thanks.